Howdy folks, I am Ruskiel and welcome to the to episode 100. Holy crap. I did uh I did not expect this to go on quite this long. And personally, I'm a tad bit proud of myself. I didn't I honestly didn't expect to keep doing this for as long as I already have. Um anyway, I c I can say this is special, but it's really not. It's just going to be another episode. In the la regardless, in the last one we finally ended the first day that took like seven episodes to get through, uh, assigned houses and rooms to each of the students, and that was really kind of about, oh, I guess we also figured, I guess we also confirmed that Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are in fact the same place. Um, other than that, I think that was about it. So, in this episode, we'll continue on with daily life and see if there's something else we need to check out, or if they're going to go ahead and allow and uh, move us on to free time. So, let's see, the time is 9 a.m. You got up, at, like, directly on the dot. That's really creepy. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to, or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Oh, I guess we're going right into free time. Well, I kind of wish I had known that. So, before we go and find people to talk with, I kind of want to see if I can't break into rooms and see if there's any more Monokuma stickers on the Grape House side. So, I don't know how I'm going to uh, fill the fill the void without any without any actual dialogue. It's weird. This is one of the this seems like one of the few opportunities where I have no idea what I'm going to do, which isn't a good sign, or how to fill the how to fill things out. So Chalky's in there. Sorry, I was thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Okay, well evidently I can't talk with Chiaki. Can I I can I guess I can go in the standard room this time around. So no Chiaki free time event. At least at this point in time. Huh, that's weird. I wonder what that's for. This one looks a little different than uh, than the apple side, doesn't it? Like it seems laid out differently. Well, I don't see anything in here. So we'll go ahead and move on. Um let's see. Nothing nothing else is really coming to mind. Is Akani in there? Uh, apparently. Oh, it's you. Is it morning already? What should I do? Should I invite Akane? I'm going to see who else is around, because I want to see if I can... I, I honestly want to see if I can just finish Kazuichi's free time off. If I can do that, that would be most beneficial. At least in my opinion. So there's the... Uh, the Monokuma Shrine. Wait, what was that? There's something over here. Hold on. I want to try clicking on this. Nope, evidently nothing's going to happen. Oh, all the TVs are flashing. Um, anything else? I mean, there's the camera over there. I guess there's really not a whole lot else here. Let's see what's in the Monokuma archive, then. Gosh. Oh, wow, that was a hell of a transition. So this is the Monokuma archive that Nagito was telling me about. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but in the future it might be necessary to know about the enemy. So, oh wow, this got this has full-on 360 uh, view. Strange. Okay, well we'll start here. Oh man, there's so many like Monokuma things to click on. I have no idea if what may be a sticker or not. Documents, documents. Wow, there's a lot here. This book is Deep Stories That Really Happened and Will Probably Make You Cry. All 1,000 volumes of That Love by Monokuma. I should, pretend, I should pretend I never saw this. Are they all going to be different or are they all going to be the same? Oh, I actually recognize... So these are all... Uh, the things in the cases, they're all from the first game. To, in a way, they were part of the decorations for Monokuma Theater that got added in time and time again. This bookshelf has Worldwide Bestseller, The Ten Killing Commandments, Monokuma's Personal Guide to Success and Happiness. 
Somehow, I suppressed my urge to throw it on the floor and put it back on the bookshelf. Anything else? Just more documents, it looks like. Can I click on any of these Monokuma portraits? It doesn't look so. Let's see, what's on this bookshelf? Monokuma's Cute Meaty Diary, Volume 1. What is this? Is this Monokuma's diary? Has that guy been keeping a diary this whole time? Greetings! I'm the Monokuma in charge of Monokuma. I'm the one who looks good in a fresh salmon jacket. Anyway, it's still pretty recent, but I've made a tremendously huge discovery. And I shall share it with you guys, starting now. First, squat like you're sitting in an invisible chair and put your hands behind your thighs. Then, hold that position as you raise your thighs. If you keep raising higher and higher, don't you think you'd start floating higher and higher into the air? You would, right? Right? Isn't this amazing? Isn't this a revolutionary discovery that will cause a reform in traffic laws? But I can't do it. I don't have thighs. Bummer. It looks like there are still several volumes to this diary, but what should I do? Um, hopefully not read all of them? Good god, that was kind of, that was awful. What's on this bookshelf? Monokuma's latest work. There's no way my little sister is this incompetent. Does this mean Monomi? Don't tell me he writes articles when he's bored. Oh, it's on this one. Despair Boys, Monokuma's Successful Youth Edition. What a shitty title. Anything else? Uh, just... Just your stock and standard bookcases. Okay, well... Who knows? I was thinking there might be some stickers in here, but I guess not. I wonder where the fifth one is, then. Famous Monokuma Quotes, Volume 1. Here's one! Free massage ticket! Of course, you're the one who's going to give the massage. However, if you keep using the free massage ticket, you will eventually master the massage fist. Never underestimate the power of the massage fist. It will impress Kenpo masters around the world. Well, yep, this place was pretty useless, wasn't it? That's a bit of a shame. Can't even think of uh, something that would be... that could be used in the inevitable murder in there, so... I guess, at this point, we'll check out where everyone at- well, I could walk around and see where everyone is, or I could use the map. I may end up doing that. So there's Sonya. Any anyone else down here? There should be... Is that it for the ladies? Surely that can't be it for the ladies. Oh, you know, I wonder. I'll tell you what, we'll see what we can do in here. I don't really have to go. Oh, I guess not. And I don't even have the op option of interacting with the ladies' restroom. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's not the right button. That's the right button. What's on the map? Okay, so... Great Pals, first floor. Wow. This is... Uh, they really screwed with the... Uh, map, didn't they? Uh, it's going to be a while before I get used to it. So there's Akani, there's Chiaki. Grape House V3. No, Floor 3. Strawberry House Floor 1. So there's... Oh, they changed Nekomaru's portrait. I didn't notice that until now. Okay, so he's on the first floor. Anyone else? The final dead room. Uh, okay, so Nagito's... Nagito's on the second floor. And pretty much all the boys are just in their room. Gundam, Kaz, and uh, Fuyuhiko. So we're going to go here real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and get this sticker while I'm thinking about Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this sticker while I'm thinking about it. Because, I, because, I mean, it's pretty evident. I guess it's not that much different than the other layout. It just reversed and they don't have the door here. So grab you. And we'll check with Kazuichi. But who knows if he's going to want to do that. He's been pretty hostile to us lately. And that worries me a bit. So, where Kazuichi had one of the crappy rooms. Yeah, go figure. Of course he had a crappy room. Is Kazuichi still sleeping? Go away, traitor. 
Oh. Disappointed. Well, um, give me a moment. All right, I'm back. So I think I'm going to go ahead. So I've come to the conclusion that at this point I should try to, if I can't get in touch with Kazuichi, which is clearly the case, then I need to see, hold on a second. Damn mouse is screwing with me again. Then I need to see, then I, what I should, then the smartest thing to do at this point would be to talk with people who are, I guess, like the least likely to perish in these events. So, you know, as, as, uh, not, as fourth wall breaking, there's a term for that. Anyway, I, I, what I need to do is I need to focus on people I think might actually survive the rest of the game, which, I mean, let's be honest, Nagito is probably one of them. Other than that, I'm having a hard time figuring out who it might be. I mean, I don't need to worry about Chiaki, because I already uh, filled that out. I got I got uh, her hope fragments all filled out, so I guess we'll just go with Nagito at this point. Oh, welcome, Ajime. What are you welcoming me for? Well, it's probably because you're staying at Grape House. Uh, for some reason, you seem like a guest. Well, if I offended you at all, I apologize. Well, there's really no need to apologize. Oh yeah, while we're at it, I should let you know our room assignment. The deluxe room at the back toward the lounge area is my room. Across from that it's Gundam's, and Nekamaru's in the standard room next to mine. Next to Nekamaru's room is Kazuichi's room, and across from that is Fuyuhiko's room. Of course, we're using the portrait Sonya drew in place of nameplates on our doors. So, even if you don't remember, it'll be okay as long as you use that as a sign. I didn't know she drew portraits for the guys. For a princess, Sonya is very diligent. Drawing a portrait of a lowly human like me. I might drown from such undeserved honor. Sonya's merciful heart might be ultimate level too. Even in this situation, he still acts like this. Evidently, I don't get free oh my gosh what is the deal with these free time events like half of them are blocked off okay i will be back again after after reevaluating everything all right i'm back we're gonna try fuyuhiko uh that's my best guess at this point are are you going to spend free time with me or are you going or are you going to be like i i'm here and i will say some things but uh, i'm not going to spend free time with traitor even though I trust you. However much longer do we have to stay in this place? I feel like it's going to make me drop to death. What should I do? Finally, so finally I can spend some time with someone. You're sure. That doesn't sound awful. I spent time today talking to Fuyuhiko. Oh god, do I have anything that I might be able to figure out for him? <laughs> Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little closer. Well, time to... Time to... Cut away again! Until I find something. Great. 77 sounded like my best bet. Please don't hate me. I don't really want to owe you any favors. Well, you probably won't pose threat later, so I'll just gratefully accept it. I mean, I got a kind of a good ding out of it. Hey, Fuyuhiko, how's that wound on your stomach doing? Oh, we're going right to the... Huh, I wonder what would have happened if I had talked to him earlier. Interesting. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I thought you'd say that. You must have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Huh. I just have the Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in hospital. Like, maybe this is old dream. Dream, huh? <laughs> How great would that be? Oh, sorry. Obviously, you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Uh, that's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up till now. And as long as I'm burdened with the clan name, Kazuryu, Kazuryu name, I'll always be detailing, dealing with a mountain of bodies. But 
you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other off like this. This guy's always known violence and death. I see, he's used to it. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. The world is a barbaric place. Especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. My old man likes to say, Predators are always stronger than prey. He's a hothead. Even if he's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Being a Yakuza means you can kill even the man you love to get your point across. I'd have been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. There were few times where I nearly got killed in aftermath of parents' fight. But whatever, whenever something like that happened, Pekor was always there by my side. I'm sorry, I made you remember something like that. What, you don't need to apologize for that, strange bastard. But still, I'm the rightful successor of Kazuru clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> By the time I was in second grade, I didn't even cry if I lost fight. I see. Good for you? Good for me. Don't treat me, don't treat me like kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, but I, I am starting to get a, to know Fuyuhiko a little better. Alright, so we did that. And I really... I, I think I really chose... I, I really should have just went with Gundam. I had like all sorts of earrings that I could have just thrown at him, and I know he would like the earrings. After talking to Fuyuhiko about some other things, I parted ways with him and returned to my room. So, um... Oh, hold on a second. Um, there should be time for me to move around more, more freely. <laughs> Alright. So, we got free time second portion. I know this was a pretty short episode because I explored a bit and then uh, sat around in my gifts and looked at people forever because I had no idea what I was doing. In the next one, hopefully I will have something a little more prepared out. But uh, evidently, at this point, I need to establish at least two people before I've managed to find people who are willing to talk to me. Regardless, in the next one, we will go ahead and finish off this portion of free time and see where it goes from there. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.